Are you seeing spots, clouds, threads, and shadows in your vision? They may be vitreous floaters in your eye. If you're like most people, you've been told you'll just have to learn to live with it. Welcome to the Orange Coast Laser Vision Center. We are one of just a few centers specializing in the non-invasive treatment of vitreous floaters. You no longer have to just learn to live with them. Okay, I um, discovered that I had a floater not too long ago, within the last month. And I did not originally know what a floater was. I never heard of a floater. I thought I had something stuck in my eye. I'd been had a busy weekend and had been at concerts and things like that. And I'm active in the ocean. And I thought I had something stuck in my eye. It was so bad. Mm -hmm. And it reminded me of like a spider web. And it was very uh, disconcerting, disconcerting. And I was really frustrated. And um, what happened was I did a header at, on my stairs at home because I thought it was like, Something really, it was distorting my vision. So I went to my eye doctor and um, asked him to take it out. And uh, he gave me this like long Latin term and said the word permanent and said that, uh, you yeah, know, I'm something I'm gonna have to live with and it's not gonna go away, same thing as permanent and uh, good luck, you know? And I was like, what? You can't get rid of it? And then he mentioned that I should uh, perhaps, I said, I don't want to live with it. You know, what's the alternative? There's got to be something, because that's how I like to think, because I can, you know, find um, a solution. And he recommended I give uh, you, Dr. Johnson, a call. Actually, to answer that question, let's back up to the Wednesday before the okay. procedure, oh, sure. our first consultation. Uh, that particular day, I was apprehensive. I was, um, uh, you know, anxious. I was concerned because um, I wasn't sure what the answer would be. Mm -hmm. And I'd done research, but really I was banking on our conversation on the telephone and um, just um, putting my faith in, in, in getting in front of you and having a one-on-one -on -one dialogue and doing the examination because you'd mentioned to me that not all um, people are candidates for the laser uh, surgery or correction, right. procedure, if you will. So um, by the time you and I had finished on Wednesday with the exam and you felt that I was a candidate for the procedure, I just couldn't wait till Friday. I was just like, okay, I, you know, it was, to me it was like a great day, get up, you know, I went, you know, went swimming, went to work. I just couldn't wait. It was just like, I'm, I'm ready. And I had, so I had to answer your question, Dr. Johnson. I did not have any apprehension coming in for the procedure. I didn't have any um, anxiety about uh, your expertise and your ability and your skill set to do it. I was like, okay, let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. You know? Well, a lot of people do, obviously, because uh, you, you at least have your eye doctor, your optometrist, at least point you in this direction and uh, as we were talking about earlier a lot of patients will come to me in spite of what their eye doctors uh, they aren't even aware that this is a procedure that can be done oh it's actually kind of boring <laughs> sorry <laughs> no i mean i was thinking about that no it's like um what a horrible thing to say for you but what i meant was it's well, it's just... like watching grass grow right? yeah it's, it's yeah not something that <laughs> No, it's not like I'm interactive or anything, you know, it's just like you're, you know, you're just me, the, you, the patient, you know, it has absolutely nothing to do other than just sit straight and still and, you know, just let your mind wander. That's what I was doing and I was, you know, hoping, um, you know, for the best for you that you, you know, find these little buggers and get rid of them all and um, just, you know, just, it was a leap of faith. Right. And so what it, it, it's funny, it's, it's just, it's relaxing. There's, there, there's, uh, it's not noisy. It's not, um, it, it doesn't hurt, you know, it's not uncomfortable. And we play a little music in the background. Oh, always, yeah, yeah. You always it, have your music. It can be a little interactive. I have sometimes people will look in certain directions to try to move the floaters into view. So I try to get it a little bit interactive when we can. But uh, you know, we well, gave it gave me a break. Yeah, that's you know, true. Yeah. you know, gave me a little break, and um, yeah, and you did have me do some, uh, you know, a little bit of interactive, like you said, to move my eye and to see if it, you know, we could move any more activity around. Sure, sure. But I mean, it's not stressful. I mean, it's like almost like okay, all right, all right. And then I just drove myself home and um, spent a quiet night. 
and the next morning I assessed what I thought was um, a very, and I still do, a very successful procedure. And on that note, if um, you compare where you are even right now before we go into your mm -hmm. second treatment, um, compared to the floaters that you had going into it, maybe what kind of percentage of improvement or how would you kind of grade that, in, that improvement even after just the first treatment? I've thought about that uh -huh. and I thought about it even from the very first day post the treatment, post my original treatment, and I have to say 85%. Okay. And that's why I even opted to come back. I waited a couple of weeks because like you suggested and what the research shows is maybe let it settle a little bit right. and, and see what happens. But um, I'm so, um, you know, I have so much faith and confidence in you and your um, expertise in the procedure that I know or I'm, I'm uh, assuming or hoping that we can raise the bar even sure. to, you know, if I we, mean. If we could get to 90 or even 95 percent, would that be Oh, I'm reasonable? thrilled with 85 percent. <laughs> I think most people yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was thinking I could even be thrilled with like 50 percent. So 85 percent is huge. But even better, you know, if there's room to, to you know, um, you know, to expand on that or, you know, have a better uh, success rate, or, you know, all power to you. <laughs> so um, I'm, to me, I'm very, very happy, but I think 85% is a, a, a valid and fair assessment. Good. What do you say we get started? I'm ready. Okay.